Hey Floss Tube, it's Kerry Stitches. It's Sunday the 30th of December and this is my 2019 plan video. I hope you're all well and have had a good Christmas. Um, I'll talk more about my Christmas and everything in my regular update next week. But I thought I'd come and pop on and show you my plans for the coming year. Uh, this video is going to be in three parts. It's go um, I'm going to give you a quick flip through of my stitchy journal that I've set up ready for 2019. Uh, I'm going to talk briefly about my whips and that I'm carrying through. And then we'll go into the pile of charts that are around me on the table, which make up my plan starts for 2019. It's further than we did last time. Good job. So, there's the first bit of editing for my hobby. <laughs> Anywho, so um, this is my third attempt at recording. It's been a my phone keeps cutting out at various places so we've installed updates i've had technical support come and look at the problem um so we'll see how far we get um the first video i made 25 minutes in no 15 minutes in this second video 35 seconds we're doing well so anywho let's just uh I'll let me show you through the journal so um, title page with some goals for 2019 75 finishes including the 80 season biscornis stitch from stash I'd love 600 subscribers that would be amazing I hit 500 on Boxing Day um, that was phenomenal and so thank you to each and every person who likes subscribes and does all the things click the little bell if you want to keep getting the update um, notifications when I post Thank you for your support. Um, finish Main Street. I can't read anything. I can't read backwards. So what else we got? Oh, keep up with my planner. Um, one start for every two finishes. And what's the last one? Oh, stitch a few Christmas ornaments. There we go. So that's my plans. I've also logged, because I am stitching from stash, my um regular expenditures which are my chromatic alchemy fabric club and also um, i joined the week style works club for lakeside so turn the page and then we've got my 2018 whips and then my 2019 plan starts yes there are 37 i think i might be mad um, i've categorized them into small medium large and extra large projects um, the majority is small, small and medium. That's kind of what I like stitching. Uh, so, and then we've got additional starts and um, a place for swaps and stitchy kindness. And then I've got my 12 monthly pages. January is completely done. I've done all the month layouts and I just need to stick in some more sheets like this. So that's that. I can block, I've got some goals, um, my ATC themes and everything. I can list my new starts and the bottom bit will be for my stitch from stash. Uh, February, just use the tabs because that's what they're there for. February, I've just um, I've made a bit more room at the top and just reduced my stitch from stash area. So that works for me. I've got my stitch from stash page. This will be just pretty much for the figures. I do need just to add my ta the table in because that's just such a useful piece of um, information for me to have of the uh, values. And then I've got my wish list. I've opted to do it as little clouds like this just because um, it actually makes me think whether I want to fill in a circle or not. So. And Lizzie Kate's Buzzy String is on there because I cannot find it in the UK anywhere and that is that is really high on my um, wish list. It's probably the highest on my wish list. It's the one I want. So, And I begrudge paying, I know I can get it from 123 Stitch but I begrudge paying £13 postage for a, for a teeny teeny tiny chart. Yeah, you know how big they are, they're that big. 
it does not cost £13 to post that. I'm sorry, no. I know American postage can be expensive, but it doesn't. Okay, so there we go. So that's my um, planner for the month, for the, for the year. I may add one or two other pages into it, but I think part of the problem I found with complete, not filling it in at the second part of last time, which is why I didn't do very well on Stitch from Stash because I wasn't recording, was the fact that so much of it was Stitch was uh, this year and there were too many pages for it to be um, easy, I guess. So let's crack on. So first, so, oh, whips, let's go to whips. Uh, it is 90% the same as my whip parade. There may be slight bits of progress on a few things, but not much. So I will link my whip video below if you didn't see it. Um, the only new ones on there are my little Christmas gnome, because I'm not going to get that done, because he's... Uh, give, because it's two days till the new year and I'm not going to get them done because I want to finish my Star Santa and I want to have a start on uh, Merry String. So um, so I want to start, get that started. I have fabric for that. That's from Sparklers. Don't ask me what it is. It was in a grab, um, it was in a remnant bin for want of a better word. Um, so, but it's perfect for that. It's a bit sparkly, it's gonna be lovely. And I may even try and get a start on this little Met Prairie Schooler. If not, that's on the list for next year. So that's my plan going through. So going into 2019, I am counting the Main Street series as one whip, um, as an extra large project because I'm not counting it done until I've done all of it. We're gonna go with hand gestures today. So that is another eight charts to stitch and one to finish so and then and the ninth to finish so yeah I'm not very far on that at all hey ho uh what else yeah so the only one that's on there that may not um is have faith by design works I have completely fallen out of love with that um I like the design I just don't like stitching it so we'll see what happens with that one um I've left it in my footstool because I'm at the moment because I if I put it away, my concern is that I won't actually ever stitch it again, and I think it's just going to be one of these that's going to be a few years, and I'll try and plug maybe if I can get a one day on it a year, then we'll you know at least I can say I'm, it's, it's progressing slowly. Um, okay, so that's where we are with the whips. Uh, give up my notes. Uh, okay, new start, let's talk through the starts. So, as I said, there are 30. I'm not counting Lizzie Cates that's starting today. This may be number 37, or this may be number 18 for the whips. Either or. Um, let's go with. I had, two days ago, this list was at 30. And then I found some more. Well, I found, I, I added two of my Christmas presents and plus other things I'd forgotten I'd kitted up. So, one of my main goals is to get down to single figures with whips. So, that's going to have a big bearing on as to whether I get stuff done I doubt I'll do Stitch Mania this year, or next year. If I do, it'll be my own kind of Stitch Mania. I mean, I did finish main, I did FFO Mania last year, which was actually really good. So maybe it'll be FFO Mania this year, next year. So forget, we're in 2018. My first 12 planned start. And this is where my system fails a little bit because I'm counting these as individual starts, yet Main Street I'm counting as one. So is the Lizzie Kate Flip It series. I've got, I'm not going to go, you've seen all of them before. So 
so uh, they're all there all 12 of them you'll see them as I do them so January is the first one and I'm actually going to do that as my January the first start um, stitch them in DMC I, I have got some buttons that I am hoping will fit because these were gift these were gifted to me by my friend Steph uh, I'm stitching them I hope all of them on this Permin Water Lily 32 count because the chart sizes are small I forget the stitch the stitch count is 47 by 47 so I'm sure I've checked yeah it'll be fine who knows but it'll be fine so yeah so see I'm seeing it all I did debate doing bits of hand dyed but just so I can get them stitched I'm just going to DMC them all so there we go with those so that's 12 um, I need to ignore my list and stop trying to work around my list because it's not in order with the piles so okay so we've got um, Little House Needleworks Rose Sampler and um, that's being stitched on random piece of random fabric I don't know what it is this is the one that I found in the F1 book that I haven't opened since 2012 or 2013 so um, who knows but it fits stitched in I'm stitching it all in the called for DMC or possibly I may change it to yellow roses and gift it to my mum because she likes yellow roses so who knows it'll be in DMC Okay, next up we have got I'm um, stitching on this is 35 count Edinburgh linen in oatmeal. That's quite a true colour. It's actually a very nice linen. Picked it out by Sparklers. And I am going to stitch my first lot of 35 counts. So um, I'm stitching this Mind Your Own Bees wax. It was gifted to me from by Betty. Um, majority of the things I'm going to stitch this year have been gifts. So there are, yeah, majority of gifts. So, so yeah, that one that's just in DMC, it's going to hopefully going to be quite a quick stitch. But I thought it's a nice easy one to try on the 36 count. And then I'm going to stitch these two heart and hands. I've had these quite a while I picked these up at one of the shows and I just love the little samplers samplers and houses um, and they are um, they are companion pieces so uh, I won't stitch them together but I will stitch them on the same fabric um, and I've, got, I've picked some of the hand dyes for it I think I've got a couple more that are in other projects I've got lots of little ones like these where Obviously, I'm not going to need an entire skein of a colour when I only need to maybe stitch 40 stitches in it. So I have got skeins here, there and everywhere. And I can't figure out a better way of storing them other than putting them all into one bag and then doing it that way. But, um, I've got three here that are on my list that I haven't got fabric for yet. Partly because... Um, my giant fabric stack slash there's nothing yet that I feel will work and I'm in fabric of the month club so something will turn up I think um, if not possibly I've got large pieces of fabric to do other designs and there may be leftovers that will work so I've got from the Shelley Key Exit Red uh, Ocean Voyage by Bent Creek the red thread and um, I'm going to use that jodry for the I think I'm trying desperately to use some of these jodry that I've got and there's not that many colours that work uh, oh that's a chart but just um, just Nan Beehive Violets it's just a little small one predominantly in purple it's got this really really beautiful little bee charm to go on it 
um, I'm looking forward to stitching that. Again, it just needs a pale fabric, which I don't know if I have any of that yet. So, and again, then this one again, which is from Betty, the Valentine one. I may change the colours slightly to be slightly less pink. I don't know to what. We'll see. So those three are the well, needing fabric. So they but they will all be stitched in DMC. Okay, next pile. Fully kitted. Love this. This is from Dawn. And uh, this is Sweetheart Tree Purple Vinca. Um if I can do if I can do that. Oh no, that's tipping it all out. But it is fully threads, fabric, beads. Um, it's on a 28 count platinum cashel linen. <coughs> Lots of speciality stitches. Should be fun. And then we have a chart that's got oh there we go. Winter wishes. This needs two threads. I, when I went through working out what I needed to order, that's going to be stitched on this blue sparkly fabric from Pole Stitches. Uh, when I went through working out what I needed to order, knowing that I joined the Weeks Dye Works Club, if I went through the Weeks list and if I knew I need, it would be here within the next two to three months, so basically the B's and the C's, I didn't order it. And I thought, well, I can always... These are being stitched, are going to be stitched in absolutely no order whatsoever. It'll be whatever. Maybe what the whip may, might do a wheel of whips, kind of a wheel for it, or I might just kind of just think, yeah, fancy that. Another little house. This is the trilogy. Happy home, home day. Another little alphabet. Need to get myself a moon button, but it's super cute. I like this one. Um, again, various um, threads are knocking about somewhere and it's going to be on this yellow. I can hear somebody on the stairs, probably wanting to come down. Lot, you can come down. Okay. Okay. Can, that's can you see me? No. Yes, dear. Okay, I can see you. I'm sure you can see me from where you're sat. You can see my phone, so yes. Okay, you're happy. Like normal. did not get any stitching stuff for Christmas because she hasn't done with any of the stuff. She hasn't stitched since her last update, so we'll just leave that there. Okay, this was gifted to me by Denise. Love this, it was on one of my wish list ones from this year. B sampler, uh, it's DMC, and I have the raw linen for it as well. Prairie Schooler, Brad, um, Night Garden, this makes me think of the CB CBBC program. Uh, those of you with small children may have seen it, you may have wished you hadn't seen it. Weird, weird, but there we go. Sorry, sidetrack, just makes me think of that. Um, this one I have called Eagle Piggle. Um, we've got a pre uh, another trilogy house. You sensing a theme here? Um, and I've got a couple of the colours for that. And I think whiskey is another is whiskey and brick are two of the other colours, and they are in with one of the other ones. So, and I've had this in my stash for two years, and it's about time I got stitched because it's small. And finally, I've got. Uh, with, only, I can't, with thy needle and thread, I believe it is, or it's just a Brenda Gervais pattern, I'm not sure. And um, ho ho ho, but I just keep calling it Marion Bright because that's what it says. And I'm not stitching this in silks because I'm not. So it'll be DMC with a few hand dyes for Santa and the reindeer and the sleigh. So I've just started kitting that up, but once again, um, one of them's brick, another one 
it's something else and they are already in other things and they're all going on this 35 count Edinburgh linen so as I said if, any, if there's any of that left over after I've stitched all of these then I will then start with the smaller pile that I've got here Move that little pile out of the way as well. Oh, avalanche off the table. Oh, that's lazy cake. I'm getting organised now. Final pile, would you believe? So, you see this before? Monkey Wrench Ink Circles. Absolutely love this to pieces. And for Christmas, hubby. got me a fab pack. Now I'm not using the light green, I'm not using this one, but I loved the colours together and I may throw some of the light green in, I don't know. Probably not the variegated, but yeah, silks for you silks. Cannot wait to use these. I think they will look beautiful with it. So helpful in getting the browns for me. For this so I was cannot rate them highly enough. This came so quickly and I was blown away by the fact it was three pounds something postage. So and I even got a needle minder with it. So that's my that will be my needle minder because that's the colours work perfectly and a leaf for a Quaker one I think that works nicely. There are lots of leaves on it. I have fabric coming too for it that's on order from Crafty Kitten. Um if I can find a picture of it, I may insert it here. If not, you'll have to wait till it comes. I really wanted that to be my new year, new start, but um, it took me a long time to find the fabric that I thought would work the best with it. So, um, for hand dyeing and all that, just didn't give myself enough time. So next up, we've got a giant pile here. So these are some of my more recent charts. We've got undulations that's going on Sparkly's 40 count Newcastle um, BST, whatever BST means, British Summertime. Let's go with British Summertime. Um, and I will do it in the, it, it put in its call for video and see. So it says the model was stitched on 36 count, so I'm hoping that the 40 is okay. These don't, some of these, again, will be uh, festive little fobs the beekeeping edition. I can seriously want to see me wanting most of these um, festive little fob sets. Um, these will be done on scraps because they're less than 30, 30 by 30 is the largest one so um, I am going to order probably four of the hand dyes for it. I'm going to um, basically the bee colours which is Havana, Lycan, Golden grits, so I'll order those four and just keep those with that. And then we've got two Christmas presents: Lizzie Kate Seasons and Snowy String. These are all so I haven't ordered anything for these yet. These are stitched on Havana, um, and um, yeah, this is stitched on Havana. No, not Havana, that's one of the threads. Uh, amber linen, so I'm going to order a piece of amber linen to do all of those on. And I'll probably, I actually have one, two, three, four, five, five of these, uh, a C, or B or C's, so potentially they're going to come quite quickly. Um, and I have two or three of the others there already, so we will go with... Um, those and again for this one I will probably just wing it with a mixture of DMC and what I've got. So those that's the plans for those two. Let's find a pile for those. Um, we have I'd forgotten about this until I was looking for undulation sod it to the pile. Um, Mirabilla uh, portrait of the vines. Oh, yeah, 
Portrait of Antique Vines, uh, which was the 25th anniversary special one. I'm going to be doing this as a cell with um, Jade Carriad Stitches on Instagram. We're going to start this about March time and I am stitching it on this because I'm too lazy to stitch all that background. So I am only going to be stitched because it's called for Karen Water Lilies and I am just going to get uh, the two backgrounds I'm not going to stitch. So I'm not going to stitch the pink, hence that picking that one and that pale one I'm not going to, hopefully I'm going to position it on the fabric so it's okay. Um, the black and all the beads and then there's a kind of greeny, browny, bluey, grey sort of colour around the edge and I'm hopefully going to find something I can use for that but I need to check out conversions and things from Karen Water Lilies. Let me see. Is it Water Lilies? Did I got that right? Yeah, Water Lilies. Um, so looking forward to stitching that one. Um, we also, we're, ne we're nearly at the end, we're nearly at the end. I'd forgotten I'd kitted up this. Oh, and I've also printed out the parts, so looking forward to doing this one. This is from World of Cross Stitch, no, I lie, Cross Stitch Crazy, can't find it, 246, which was October 2018, oh, move that down a bit. And this is all kitted up in DMC. I think I need four or five DMC. But... Well, it's really I can't find half the colours I'm looking for. But, you know, it uses some of the new threads, which is really nice. So that's for that. And I'm just stitching that on Black Ada. Black 14 Cat Ada. Because why struggle? I think there's two to go. Um, I'd like to finish the coffee time set. So I just have, but first coffee and dear coffee, I love you, that is all to stitch. And it's all still kitted up. Um, I do not know which, I need to see what fabric I used for the last one to see what I need to use for this one. So because I put all my tea coffee dyed left in here so some of it's been stitched in DMC some of it is some of it is um, some of them are Jodry and others are cross and I think there was one I think I'd use one just possibly maple syrup and the last one which has the fabric and I was going to start it before Christmas everybody else but didn't quite get around to it is oh that might work for Valentine I think I've got some of the um, cream sparkly one left is Raise the Roof Christmas Land and I'm doing DMC so as much as I love my hand dyed sometimes you need although I do like hand dyed on trees we'll see we'll see what happens I may might be a mix and match for that one so that and my, those are all my plan starts for 2019. Let me just find my notes and I'll give you a quick breakdown of it. So that's 17 whips with... ...17 to 18 whips. 36 or 37 starts depending on how the whips go and all that kind of thing. So... Um, it's in the region of about 54 to 55 projects for next year. Um, 23 small ones, 17 medium sized ones, uh, 7 large and 4 that I'm counting as extra large. If I count all Main Street as individual ones that takes it over 60 and I want 75 finishes this year. I think I've set myself up for a challenge. So. I'm looking forward to seeing what you all have planned for 2019. I'm noticing some planning plan videos coming up now, so I will start to. I'm, I'm 
working through my list slowly. It's, um, yeah, so don't forget to like, subscribe, click the little bell button to be reminded. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who watches, like, and does all those things. Um, and I will be back next week with my, or well, this week, depending on how you look at it, with my regular update. Uh, thanks for watching and have a fantastically stitchy 2019. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you for all the lovely comments you leave me for the likes and the subscriptions. It really, it really does mean a lot and it makes it all worthwhile. Happy stitching!